Hello everyone, welcome you all for the session. Here in the gradient based learning, we have to choose the right output units, activation functions uh, for uh, getting the good accuracy for the given problem statement. The choice of cost function is tightly coupled with the choice of out output units because here j is a uh, yeah, cost function which is uh, depends upon the predicted output and actual output okay so here the uh, our cost function is tightly coupled with the uh, output which is calculated by using the activation function here mostly users simply use the cross entropy between the uh, data distribution and the model distribution that means the data distributed in the as a actual output the model is uh, computing the uh, data uh, as a predicted value so here the uh, which is determining uh, the form of cross entropy function we have to select which cost function to be selected either binary cross entropy or categorical cross entropy for the given problem statement based upon the uh, data set so here the neural network unit is used as an output and uh, use the SN hidden unit. So we can use that neurons in the neural network as a hidden unit and also output unit. And here, the which activation function is suitable uh, for given uh, uh, problem statement so that we have to decide from the uh, give, uh, so many number of uh, unit, uh, so many number of activation functions. First, the linear activation function for Gaussian out output distributions. The linear unit is simple output unit which is based on the affine transformation uh, uh, equation and which is ha uh, not having any non-linearity which is linear unit so which is not having any uh, non-linearity given features in the given data set uh, on the hidden layers a layer of linear output units which are producing a vector of uh, values which is based upon the y cap equal to w transpose x plus b w is weight parameters x is the input features and b is the bias value the linear output layers are uh, frequently used to produce the mean of uh, conditional Gaussian distribution which can be represented as the predict probability of y output y is predicted based on the given input features x equal to the uh, Gaussian distribution of the y and here we are predicting the uh, value y cap uh, with with respect to the given distribution okay and uh, the second uh, activation function is sigmoid activation function for the bernoulli output distributions if our data is having binary class classification then we can go for sigmoid activation function here uh, the maximum likelihood approach is uh, defining for the Bernoulli distribution over the actual outputs y which is conditioned on the given input features x and the Bernoulli distribution is defined by just a single number that means uh, scalar value is the output of sigmoid activation function and the neural net needs to predict only the uh, probability of uh, y equal to the one the class one with respect to given input features x so for this scalar value uh, to be a valid probability it should be uh, lie between the interval 0 comma 1 that means the sigma activation function always give you the value between 0 to 1 the default threshold value we will fix 0 0.5 the equation is given sigma of z equal to 1 over 1 plus e power minus z z equal to w transpose x plus b and another one uh, output i mean uh, activation function is here output units for the output units okay output layer output units softmax units right for the multi class classification it is it is for multinally output uh, data distributions which is representing the probability distribution over discrete variables that means 
classification variables with n number of possible classes that means multi class classification okay it is not for the uh, only binary class classification we can use the uh, multi class classification which may have n number of possible classes more rarely the softmax functions can be used inside the model itself to choose between one of n different options for some internal variables so here we can choose the uh, softmax function when we are having uh, n different uh, classes for internal variables so in case of binary variables we can uh, produce the single number and also uh, if it is multi class classification it will produce the uh, maximum likelihood values from the uh, uh, softmax function so here which is having the formula e power ai uh, divided by uh, summation of j equal to 1 to n number of classes number of classes uh, e power a j so here j equal to 1 to n that is number of classes so whenever we are having the neural network in the output layer okay we will have the neural network uh, so many uh, like hidden layers will be there so in the output layer we have to choose the right output units either it is a linear or uh, or uh, softmax right or the sigmoid so we have to uh, select the suitable output activation function in the output layer for getting suitable uh, uh, for, for for getting the suitable out accuracy for the given problem statement and another one uh, important thing in the gradient based learning is we have to choose the uh, suitable optimizer from uh, set of optimizers for calculating the uh, uh, optimized cost value which is uh, making the uh, model to reach the converging point uh, by reducing the training time and by reducing the uh, by, by reducing the loss and improving the performance of the performance of the model by using uh, accuracy metric so here we are having so many uh, optimization methods gradient descent stochastic gradient descent mini batch gradient descent ada grade rms propagation and adam ada delta so it is explained in some other uh, videos uh, you can watch that videos to understand this concepts so finally we have to complete the gradient based learning by choosing the right activation functions by choosing right output units right and by choosing right optimizers before that we have to choose right cost function to calculate the cost for given problem statement thanks for watching